Kevlar gloves, clammy cold rock steady hands, acid like sweat drips deep into your eyes. Red wire, blue wire, green, black, or yellow, 12 seconds, cut correctly to live, choose wrong and you're toast. Crunch time, defining moments, moments that impact the rest of your life. Whether diffusing a bomb or stroking a match-winning 18th hole putt, the ability to perform under pressure, to be pressure perfect, it's the difference between being recognizably good and being astoundingly great. Now you already know that to perform at the ultimate, you have to control your fear, ice down your nerves, and act under pressure with laser beam focused. That's the what. That's nothing new. You've heard it before. The question, though, is not that obvious what. The question is that never taught how. How do you make yourself perform under pressure to become pressure perfect? Well, remember the movie For the Love of the Game? Ninth inning, Kevin Costner on the mound, one final pitch determines the series, the season, probably the rest of his life. The hostile crowd roars, opposing fans jeer, the distraction is deafening. The cameras suddenly zero in into the depths of his brain. We listen in as Costner speaks to himself. Clear the mechanism, he says. Suddenly, in the midst of this fanatical, pressure-filled spotlight, everything, every sound, every person, every color, every movement around, it shuts instantly down. It goes 100% silent and black. To me, the answer is there. I think of this as the darkness in greatness. Now, in real estate, your biggest moments are your listing appointments. Perform in the home is yours to sell. Trip up in that ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollar commission. It goes to someone else. I look at every listing appointment like I am walking onto a stage. It's more than a job. My mission, my whole life's being in those moments when potential sellers are evaluating me is to absolutely, positively mesmerize them like a meticulously hearsed play that comes off flawlessly. To do that, I not only strive to prepare every moment, to prepare every word, to prepare every nuance at a level that makes other agents appear like novices. I try to do what Kevin Costner did, standing on the mound in love of the game. I realize, I recognize that this is a big moment. So I shut off everything else out of my mind. I concentrate, focus, and scrutinize on every word, every gesture, and every movement. Just like I'm doing right now, standing in front of you. On every listening appointment, I say to myself, clear the mechanism, make the world go silent and black. Greg, this is your big moment, this is your time. Find greatness in darkness. Now on your next listing appointment, try to do what I do. From the moment you walk in the door, clear the mechanism. Focus on everything from how firmly you shake hands to how lovingly you get down on your hands and knees to pet that pooch they love so much. Make the warmth of your personality resonate in every word. Don't let the outside world even exist in your head while you're in that home. To be your most magnificent you in big moments, clear the mechanism. Find greatness in darkness. This is Greg Haig. Would you like to learn creative, non-traditional real estate strategies that make sellers call in droves wanting to list with you and only you, along with ways to show those sellers how you can sell their home faster and at a higher price? Come on over and check out realestatemavericks.com and the990company.com where we're writing the creative playbook on how you can win in real estate.